Hey folks, it's the Brown Noser. Welcome to Stratford, Ontario. Stratford, Ontario is about an hour and 45 minute drive west of Toronto and was the next destination on our 2023 road trip. It is the home to the Stratford Festival, which has been delivering world quality theater for more than 70 years with its first production of Richard III in 1953 with Sir Alec Guinness in the title role. Since then, the theatre has expanded and brought visitors from around the world. Stratford was once known as a railroad town with a large locomotive repair shop, which is now just a footnote in the town's history, though trains still run through it. On this trip, our friends Nina and Brian joined us for three days, and we partook of both the Bacon and Ale Trail and the Chocolate Trail, both of which filled most of our adventure. We also took a side trip to the small town of St. Mary's, and it's all coming up in part two of our road tripping adventure. We purchased our vouchers for both the Bacon and Ale and Chocolate Trails from the Stratford Tourism Information Center, located across from the town hall on Downey Street. The vouchers cost $35 and you receive five vouchers for the Bacon and Ale Trail, six vouchers for the Chocolate Trail. With them, you can visit participating merchants and receive baked goods, souvenirs, food, beer, and of course, chocolate, and more. DW and Nina purchased vouchers for the Chocolate Trail. Brian and I chose the Bacon and Ale Trail. We walked from the downtown core and headed south down Erie Street to Black Angus Bakery and Catering, where the first vouchers were used to pick up a sweet treat. Maple Bacon Shortbread Cookies. My God, they were good. From there, we headed back toward the center of town and arrived at two destinations that were next door to one another. The ladies acquired a small bottle of Rio Thompson Candy's Mint Smoothie Liqueur from Junction 56 Distillery, while Brian and I did a flight tasting at Jobsite Brewery. I have a review of their beer on the Brown Noser blog, and I'll put a link in the description below. So we're on the Bacon and Ale Trail. Uh, we have already gone to a bakery and picked up some lovely biscuits, and we just arrived at a brewery as it was opening, so I'm gonna use this card to do a flight of beer. So I have a steam hammer. Um, it, it's a, a fruit sour. Uh, I have an impact IPA. I have a high biz, uh, very high alcohol IPA, and then I have a big pour stout. And I can't wait to dig into them. That's good. That's not too sour. It's Brian. What do you have, Brian? You want to see the yeah. smoothie? Yeah. That's, That's the smoothie. Guava, pineapple smoothie. Mm, nice. And this is an Irish, Irish ale. Yeah. Some sort. Oh, chain. that's the red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irish red ale. Yeah. That's right. Uh, this is a two by four um, cream ale, I think. Yeah. And the big stout, same time. Nice. Course. I think I'm saving that for the beer. And, the, and what do you have, Nina? <laughs> I have I have nothing. Because <laughs> uh, I have to carry this guy home. Okay, <laughs> all right. Our first afternoon was all about the theater. We walked to the Festival Theater Building on the site of the original theater and saw a rendition of William Shakespeare's King Lear, starring Canadian icon Paul Gross. If you didn't see it, you missed some stellar performances. After the play, we ate dinner at Stratford Thai Cuisine. Reservations are a must, 
and then headed to the Boar's Head Pub, where DW and Nina used one of their chocolate trail vouchers for a brownie dessert. Straight from there, we went to the Avon Theatre for Monty Python's hilarious musical, Spamalot. What a hoot. After a lazy morning, we walked a short distance to a basement cafe, Birch and Wynn, where the Bacon and Ale Trail gave us a snack and a small sample of local craft beer. The food offering was huge and we still had lunch plans. Our next destination was Mercer's Kitchen and Beer Hall, where our vouchers gave us some elevated bacon and another sampler of ale. Mine paired perfectly. From Mercer's, we walked to Tom Patterson Hall for our third production, The Wedding Band, a historic drama set in a time when interracial marriage was illegal. It was a gripping tale worth seeing. For dinner, it was burgers and comfort food at whatever 75. Our third day took us out of Stratford to St. Mary's, just 20 minutes to the southwest. DW and I had been there 29 years earlier, and the town seemingly hadn't changed much. It's still its picturesque, quaint self. DW used her remaining voucher for a coffee at Snapping Turtle Coffee Roasters, but Brian and I were keen to use our remaining voucher on another sampling flight at Broken Rail Brewery. It was the perfect end to the Bacon and Ale Trail. Back in Stratford, we parted ways with Nina and Brian and visited the Shakespearean Gardens right along the Avon River. Admission is free and it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It was the perfect ending to our Stratford adventure.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification so you don't miss any of my other videos. And we'll see you next time. From Stratford, Ontario, this is the Brown Noser.